What's up guys, Droid here. Um, this video is just a little tutorial on how to set up your Micropod once you get it. Um, first thing you want to do is charge it. It comes with an included uh, uh, USB cable, so you want to plug it in here and plug it into something that doesn't give off more than uh, 2 amps. Uh, these uh, charge boards don't like any more than that, so 2 amps is fine. Um, so, once you plug it in here, this uh, port will glow up red and it will go blue once it's fully charged. Then you can unplug it and you're ready to go. The battery life of these are quite impressive. It, it should last uh, a good few, uh, you know, uh, investigations before you have to charge it again. Um, so don't worry about uh, these going flat very fast. They, they last absolute days. So let's uh, turn on and give you a little uh, demonstration what happens here. So it does a little boot cycle once you switch on. Once all the lights go off, you're then ready to calibrate it. If obviously you do have the knob uh, away up, it may be buzz when you first turn it on. So all you have to do is turn it anti-clockwise. And you want to get the blue light blink, uh, to kind of blink. You don't want it to go off all the way once you're touching it. So once it's kind of blinking like that, you can kind of let go. And that should be you fully calibrated. So then if you put your hand close to it like so, it will kind of detect your hand being there and uh, then you can obviously do the it comes with bubble wrap in the box so you can kind of try this yourself kind of give a rub on your hair and it should uh, it should react no problem to the static from the the bubble wrap obviously another test you can do is you can put near a wall socket for example and it will kind of react to that but what you're aiming for is once you you're not physically touching it you want it, the light to stay off uh, obviously uh, going near it will kind of set it off but you don't want that buzzing and the light going off at the same time as anything not being near it um, so yeah once you're at that calibration stage uh, this shouldn't go off uh, unless something is physically actually messing with it um, if you saw my last videos you'll obviously know why um, this will only detect static in EMF and uh, it kind of ignores electronics and all that kind of stuff so unless you're physically right up close to it or messing with it it shouldn't go off uh, when you're doing your investigation so it's safe to work around it it's safe to have other devices around it because it doesn't emit anything and yeah pretty straightforward it's not that hard to set up um, it does take a little bit of finesse so very very fine tuning and you should have it no problem um, this is also a special edition this is going to uh, help my house is haunted and uh, so this is a special edition going to them uh, so hopefully you'll see this on the upcoming series so yeah that's it for now i'm going to catch you guys later bye the now